One of our biggest challenges with house plants is making sure that they're getting enough light for proper growth and photosynthesis. With the increased availability of LED lights, we now have many different options to help these plants get along in some of those areas in our house where they don't quite receive enough sunlight. LED lights obviously come in a wide array of shapes and sizes. They can also be purchased in different light spectrums depending on what your goals are. For us today, we've selected an LED light that has a full range throughout the color spectrum. Specifically, we're interested in the red and orange, which is generally used by plants for fruit onset and production of fruit or flowering. We also have light waves in the purple and blue spectrum, which are most commonly used by plants for growth. This full spectrum most closely mimics sunlight. For bigger plants like the one on my left, obviously we want to get a bigger light array, so that way we're covering the entire plant. These, of course, are going to be a little bit more expensive and take up some more space within your house. For many of our house plants, we're thinking at a minimum of eight hours per day, and hopefully we can run that a little bit longer. If you have other questions about lighting or taking care of indoor plants, contact your local Extension office. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Savady, and you're watching From the Ground Up. Thank you.